This one's from Instagram, Evo. I knew there was a reason I wasn't on Instagram. Not a single 100 to 350 kilowatt station works at more than 50 kilowatts here in Los Angeles. Crying face emoji. All right, well that's just not right. So I'm gonna pull out my charging socks and we're gonna go test this one out. The car's that way. Why does it matter what the state of charge is? Great question. So a, the state of charge is effectively how full a battery is against 100% of its capacity, right? And you'll, you'll see something very similar when you look on your mobile phone and it's charging, it will usually tell you the percentage of the state of charge. They don't call it that, but we do call it that in the, uh, in the EV industry. Batteries charge fast at low states of charge, and then that charge rate decreases as the battery gets full. The simplest analogy of that that, uh, that I found helps people understand is how quickly can you fill a movie theater when you're bringing everybody in to watch a movie. The first people can usually enter the movie theater quite quickly because none of the seats are taken, and as the seats begin to fill up, it becomes slower and slower to get the last few people in because the seats are no longer as easily accessible. And the exact same thing happens in a battery. What, we have to, what we're trying to do in a battery is store the energy, and as the battery fills up, you've got to find those little spots within the battery that aren't full yet. We've got Victoria here, the 350 kilowatt shared charger. I think you said you were roughly around 50% state of charge when we got here. So let's see what your car is able to pull off of this charger. All right, we've plugged in Dennis's Tesla. We see that it's at 56% state of charge and it is pulling 90 kilowatts. So that's the rate at which it's going to pull. We can actually get more information about that by looking at the session details. And it's showing us that the battery voltage is at 439 volts, 440 now, which is near the top end of the range. Um, and we're drawing 204 amps. And the Tesla can go up to 500 amps, so it's mainly because the battery is already 57% full that we're not able to pull the maximum capability of the current. All right, so even better, we just had Rajan pull up in his Rivian R1S and uh, he's plugged in, he's at 56% state of charge and drawing over 180 kilowatts because this car can actually consume slightly higher current than the Tesla. Okay, Evo, I guess it's time to start that Instagram account so we can tell that user that we do have stations in LA that go over 50 kilowatts. Absolutely, proof positive.